and they just popped out the blue, so I felt like it was a message from God, don't give up. Brandon Smith was shot and killed by two New Hanover County deputies and an ATF agent in 2013. His mother says she's still seeking justice and called on the revolutionary Black Panthers for assistance. So we were grasping out to any and everybody that could possibly help. The group planned an armed event over the weekend, but police confiscated their weapons beforehand. And when they were armed at the courthouse, they were violating uh, a, a county ordinance. We ended up safekeeping all of the weapons. Smith's mother recalls the day she found out her son was killed. My daughter ran in the house when she ran in and said, Mama, they're killing them, they're killing them, they're killing them. You know, everything just kind of went haywire then. And I'm like, where are they? I'm so sorry. Another detective came up. I asked him, I said, sir, please tell me, is my son dead? He says, my daughter, my, his wife, his children, we all died that moment too. She feels the police were wrong in taking away the Black Panther's weapons. So it was for protection too. Y'all act like we don't, he didn't have loved ones back here that loved him that maybe needed some comfort and support from y'all. Sheriff Ed McMahon says it's their job to enforce the law. Again, tragic event on both sides for everybody. I hold the deputies accountable. I hold myself accountable because I know that I answer to the audience of one and that is God. And when I put my head down at night, I know that I have to have done the right thing. Davis says she won't give up in her quest for justice. I've just been asking for answers or seeking justice, and they don't even take the time to talk to me. In Wilmington, Brandon Shope, Time Warner, Cable News.